Okay, I'm a little late for this, but I'm really excited for this game. It's called No Rest for the Wicked. It is by the same devs that made Ori and all those Ori games. And it is a really cool looking dark top down uh, action RPG. A lot of people are going to be like, it's souls. And you know, it might be true. There's a lot of rolling, parrying and such, but the stylization is much more in this, uh, I don't want to say like cartoony, but uh, uh, almost comics, like stylized. It's very uh, much a modern take on an old school action game with some definite uh, Minor Souls inspiration here and there. Uh, which could be major. I don't know how the whole game looks, but we have this 8 minute 45 second IGN exclusive gameplay which includes a boss battle, and I want to just pick this apart and show you all the cool gems that are going to be in this. Oh my god, it is going to be fantastic. It's slated for first quarter of this year, so it's going to be soon if all things go well. I got to keep up on news on it, but man, I haven't checked what's going on yet. I got to do so, but uh, the video... I gotta see the. I gotta break it down. Because it looks fantastic. This month's IGN First is Ori developer Moon Studios' upcoming action RPG. There's the boss showcase. No rest for the wicked. Throughout the rest of February, we'll have new gameplay, behind the scenes features, and interviews with the development team coming your way. All oh, up so there's the gonna be more news. Inside showcase on the 1st of March. First up, though we have an exclusive look at eight minutes of gameplay, including a tense boss battle against... Oh, Warren. okay, IGN, man. All right, here we go. So this is our main character. You see up here, we got this dude. Looks like he's got some sort of uh, uh, padded armor on. And we got your weapon here. Some sort of consumable, maybe, like a offensive consumable. We have a healing consumable here. And we have shield. So pretty classic stuff here. Uh, but the design, the style of the world is really cool. The fact that you can see stuff just on the ground, pick it up, use it as ingredients. I love it. There's just really cool looking loot. All sorts of different things. The climbing, the 3D aspect. Oh, I'm all about it. Again, you can see the mushrooms there. You can look ahead like that. That's classic. Oh, I would have broken those crates, Dan. Yeah, you gotta keep uh, careful attention to what's going on around you. See, there's something subtle happening here or there. There we go. We broke through the crates. Nothing there. Fantastic. I love that. Let's jump there. I don't know if we specifically have a uh, a jump button or just a generic uh, Y to interact or whatever interact button. I'm not sure. So we have a bit of a stamina bar there that just appears. Uh, I'd love to have it just always available like that, not just available when we're in combat. Yeah, you can see the future. Not the future, but like future areas that you're going to climb through. Out spaced. Yeah, the damage going to be interesting. We got a charge attack straight up there. Love that. Got running attacks, it seems. Back roll looks smooth. There's our damaging consumable. Mmm, really good approaching attack there. That's cool. Functions very quickly, and we get some, uh. Seems like some good drops from these guys. I don't know if the RNG's been manipulated specifically to highlight that you're going to get good drops or if it's going to be sometimes as inconsistent as the Souls game sometimes you really got to farm those guys for loot maybe not in this game though maybe we get some solid loot drops good percentage chances looks like a parry there and hit him with some charge attacks really stun lock him but we're taking hits in the process and he dropped some food too. Just a full full blown 
made food. As you can see there, the food is on a cooldown. That's great. Very much reminds me of Valheim's potion uh, cooldown system. Love it. I'm all about it. I'm used to it. We have more armor there. Crestfallen Archer Tunic. Almost makes me feel like that there's going to be some sort of additional stat boosts and all of that. We don't see that in this uh, in this gameplay showcase, but uh, I'll be keeping an eye on this game and all the news around trailers and all that. Look at the character art, man. I like that style. They say it used to be a man. I wanted to go after it. The father says. The father says the torn are not to be trifled with. The torn. So these, this is like the uh, almost bloodborne kind of inspira inspired idea, maybe, or uh, even just DS one inspired. Like, okay, these are the hollows that we're dealing with. They're called the torn. Okay, fair, proper noun. Let's go. Shortcut unlocked. Very classic souls. I love the animation, the way that the rain's falling and all the vegetation is moving. Classic bonfire here. And we have a fishing pole or some sort. The swimming is cool to find yourself some really cool looking uh, hidden areas. The exploration looks like it's going to be really cool with a lot of hidden stuff and Spicy missiles, which I'm all about. I'm, you know, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite game of all time. That game had missiles on missiles on missiles, and they were relevant. They were fantastic. They were satisfying, high impact items that absolutely changed the run. And having that, look at the dramatic boss roar, love it. Uh, but having these types of uh, really meaningful exploration rewards mechanically love that and it looks like this game you're gonna be exploring all over the place finding weird little secrets here and there I'm all about it yeah very bloodborne beast like he's undead and he's just deformed Taking big chunky hits. I love the uh, top down esque look, isometric style. The camera, a lot of times, in the over the shoulder third person of Souls games can really fuck up when messing around with big, big bosses. Not gonna happen in this game, I don't think. I can already see that some response uh, from people about this game and its combat are going to be like, Oh, look. Look, it's slow. It's measured. There's this and that. But when you look at the, like some of the damage output that this guy's dishing out uh, on what's essentially just a very casual showcase for the game, uh, he's dishing out some damage. And... Optimized strategies, optimized builds are probably going to absolutely tear through bosses, which, I mean, it should. It's just good game design. Is that low HP? Yep, got some fish skewers. I like that we could swap out what we have. We don't necessarily have the same flask. I also love the, the mid-air firebomb. So stylish. Stam regen looks pretty spicy. I like that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, a lot of people that want less stam regen in Souls games are people that are all about the PvP. I don't think this game's gonna have PvP. And so, I'm totally fine with good stam regen. So long as the bosses are tough but fair, good stam regen is just gonna be good fun. And look at that. From the boss, we get 
a bunch of good loot just straight up very cool so there are one-handed and two-handed weapons so we're not going to have the sort of souls mechanic of being able to freely two-hand things it seems it's just one to one but man the stylization the combat looks good the boss looks fantastic the cutscenes the atmosphere is amazing Sound design is good. I have nothing but compliments for this so far. I mean, it's just... <laughs> I'm so hyped for this. It looks fantastic. I'm definitely going to pick it up. Uh, uh, man, going to make videos on it. Just so excited. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.